These women are pleading for their life because they're in so much pain. Some of them have died because of having breast implants, and these guys don't give a shit. When I decided to get breast implants, I was 21. And for me, I grew up, you know, in a world where having breasts made the woman. And it's very sad that that still kind of exists. It's just male dominated toxic environment that's in society that women have to look a certain way to be considered um, sexy. By the time I was 22, I was having heart palpitations and things weren't really right. And by the time I was 23, I'd already been sent to a cardiologist to get an echocardiogram. And I'm telling you, the constant brain fog, my hair falling out in clumps, I'd wake up, I'd go to work, I'd come home and take a nap. It's not 20 minutes. My nap was three to four hours. And I'd wake up still exhausted. I couldn't function. I wasn't lazy. It's not like I was sitting around, you know, eating bonbons. When I went off the pill, my thyroid disease was then exposed. I found out that I had an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's. The doctor told me when I found out that I had an autoimmune condition and I wasn't getting pregnant, he told me to shut up and stop asking questions till he's done speaking. Um, I immediately abruptly stood up, told him to go f himself and left, took my paperwork and found a better doctor. This is the last time you're going to see me with these. I know they're a national treasure, but um, I believe for the past 20 years, these breast implants have been making me sick. We were always told that they were FDA approved and they, you know, have, there's no data on it causing any problems or sickness or cancer. Um, I was kind of, you know, cast aside and said, well, yeah, no, that's not real. They just go, go home, smoke a joint, have a glass of wine, have sex, make love to your husband. Um, I'm not kidding. I was told by one very highly regarded um, functional medicine doctor to fillet my husband because the enzymes in semen were incredible for my thyroid. Breast implant illness is controversial because there's a lot of doctors who are science-based versus anecdotal, and they will say, it's not real, it's made up. It's like the hottest trend, like avocado on toast, which is so freaking demeaning that a woman actually has said that. Women aren't heard. Nobody hears what we have to say because we're stupid. We're hysterical. We are the inferior gender. And that's where the problem lies in our medical world in the United States in particular. I love plastic surgery, yeah. but it doesn't work right for everybody. And then I found the Facebook group, Breast Implant Illness Healing with the Cold. When I joined the group, it was like 60,000 or 50,000 members, and now it's at 144,000 members, all experiencing the same thing, some worse, some lesser, um, some finding the group when they were about to be implanted and, you know, stopping them from getting implanted. So it is such a sisterhood, not only in um, that Facebook group, but within the breast implant illness community on a whole. The whole goal of this uh, is what I found out that we need, which is a mandate from the FDA that every surgeon has to have full disclosure with their patient because I am not anti-plastic surgery. 
I am pro-transparency. They should sit down, have full disclosure with their patient, their potential patient, and say, okay, this probably won't happen, but I want you to know that it could happen. There's a lot of women that might not do it, and there's a lot of women that still will, but at least you're in charge of your own health.